Hi, this is Nelly Deutsch. I'm on free courses or online courses for free.com. It's a testing site right now, a Moodle site. Going to log in. The theme is Fordson. Now notice I've added Google, which means that anyone can now join by clicking on Google. And if they have a Gmail account or an education suit Gmail uh, account, they can log in. So I'm logged in. Notice my photos there too. Going to go into the admin, click on it. If you're interested in learning how to be an admin of a Moodle site, let me know and I'll be uh, ready to help explain how this can be done. Going to go into Fordson. So I need to go to Appearance. Fordson is the theme. This is 3.9.1. Under Appearance, I will scroll down to Themes and then to Fordson. Under Fordson, I am going to go into Presets. Scroll down. Presets is a template, kind of template. There are a few of them for Fordson. Now notice here I turned integration on. I can turn it on and off. If you install the collapsible topics format, uh, you can get more information on this. Uh, there's also an easy enrollment plugin that um, you can have, which is absolutely great. All right, so let's start with format collapsible topics. Uh, that took me to um, moodle.org, so here I am. I can download it or I can log in and just install it. Some say it's better to um, just install it. They may be right, but this is the easiest way for me. So I click on install and then I'm going to go to the site and hope that it's here somewhere. There are free online courses. Go into install now. You need to add it. There's a plus here that you can use over here. Well, that you can add. All right, so let me click on continue. I do want this. It doesn't come with Fordson, strangely enough. It's something that you need to add. It's a plugin that was added. Then I'm going to scroll down. Don't worry about these reports. It's fine. It says your server environment meets all minimum requirements. Continue. But if you've got suggestions for me, I'd be happy to learn about getting those things worked out. So there I am. I've upgraded this plugin. I'm going to wait until it comes up. Format collapsible topics. So these are under courses. Now notice keep collapse state over session. Collapse state will be kept when user logs out. Hmm. That looks kind of interesting. So when he comes back, he doesn't have to open it up. It'll stay open for me. Well, that's, that's an interesting thing. All right. So uh, I don't have any courses yet, but I am going to go back to appearance. Under Fordson, Presets, scroll down until I get to turn integration on. And then I have installed it. Can provide, let's see if there's anything here right now. No, I don't see anything here. So let me go into the format. There are also instructions, by the way, on how to use, how to view course categories. There you can choose from a few styles, and um, I believe this is a Google Doc. So here you can get information about Fortson. There's a table of contents. And of course, the presets, that's on page four here, where you can decide how you want it. It's really, really useful to have this. Did we pass page four? Yes, we did. Okay, so let's go back to four. Okay, so here it is, 
Fortson presets, and then you can choose what you want. It doesn't really allow you to change the color and overall styling of your style, of your site, sorry. So additional theme preset files that you can add. All right, so um, let's go back now. You can play around with all of these, try them out. I think that's the best way. There is the, uh, to add the files. Notice uh, C for preset information. On creating and sharing your own preset files, you can learn more about how to do that. But let's go back and create a course. So we're going to go into Site Administration and Courses. We need to create a course. So add a new course. I haven't done anything here, so we'll just still miscellaneous. I'll have to change that. I don't like that word. So uh, we're going to call this um, Testing. And we'll call that Testing as well. Enable, we'll disable that. No course end date. We're not going to add anything else here. Just, oh yes, we do. We have to go to the course format. Sorry about that. That's uh, something we need to add here. So let's see if it's already here. The collapsible topics format. So there it is. Uh, let's see. Don't display. Oh, this is what you can do here. You can have a progress bar for each section, and I love that idea. Let's see if there's anything else. Collapsible. All right, so appearance, everything else is the same. Let's see if there's anything else here. Completion tracking, yes. Groups, no need. Everything else is fine. All right, so let's save and return to the course. So it's called testing. Let's go into that. Okay, so this is the collapsible. Okay, this is what it looks like. So we've got four topics. And notice it's really easy to use. Um, Fortson has an amazing, well, this is available for all the 3.9 Moodle. Notice everything is here, everything you need. Participants is where you enroll them. The groups is separate. No user here and under this theme anyways okay so uh, let's go back the way you go back you simply turn that off all right so let's add activities okay resources and activities and see how uh, where we get the integration there it opens up okay but we can't do anything unless we turn anything on like on any other moodle so we'll turn editing on. Okay, now it's turned on. We can give um, our topic a title. So, and customize it there. So it's not topic one, and we can call it overview, which is what I'd like to call the first one. Give it a summary and so on. No restrictions. Okay, so we've got overview. Now let's uh, see about adding some activities. So the activities are in the same place under add an activity or resource that hasn't changed okay and the activities notice here they are this is uh, the new theme for 3.9 is that nice so these are all under all i don't know why they're under all uh, let's go to activities. Okay, these are just the activities, and these are the resources. So if we add all, I see that there are quite a few that I would need to add, which I have on my other Moodle sites. So let's just add something here. We can start with something like feedback. Let's see what the feedback looks like. Okay, so again, I'm going to call everything test. Availability question and submission allow multiple submissions yeah always enable notifications yes out a number of questions yeah why not after submission show analysis page yeah why not um thank you for taking what else can we add here module settings show on course page no groups restrict access no activity completion well, I always like to do this by grade. 
uh, compose if the feedback is submitted. And competencies, um, do nothing, attach evidence, send, review. All right, let's complete it. All right, save and return to course. So notice it's here, and what's nice here is that you can minimize it there. And now you can see it, so you don't have everything showing. That's the collapsible. And notice um, there's a condition for this. I don't know why I fulfilled it. I didn't do anything. Did I? Okay, so let's go into it and edit. We can add edit questions. Actually, we need to add questions. Show responses, analysis, templates. Now, there aren't any templates because uh, this is completely new. It's a new Moodle, but under edit questions, notice we're going to add a question. So add a page break. CAPTCHA, that's a nice one. Information labels, longer text, multiple choice, numeric. Okay, we've got all of these. Uh, let's um, start with CAPTCHA. Let's choose multiple choice. Required question. Multiple choice. Single answer. Um, yes. So hide the not selected. Yes. Do not. I don't know. Leave it now. Multiple choice values. Yes. No. Okay, one line for each position. Two, why not one? I'll get a captcha as one. All right, so that's it, I think. Okay, all right, so let's go back now to overview. Um, and let's answer the questions. Answer the questions. Okay, are you happy? Yes. Submit your... Oh, where's the captcha? Oh, I need to add... Get an API key. Okay, I didn't do that. So now I'm in as a student. I've added a new user with one of my accounts, email accounts, and uh, added the user to the course testing. So it's under my course activities and resource test. Answer questions. I'm not a robot. And submit my answers. Oh, I haven't done this one. Are you happy? Well, uh, then I have to do this one again. All right. So there it is. Okay. And continue. I submitted my answers. So notice uh, the bar, my progress bar, okay, is now all done. I've done everything under overview. At least that's what's here. Only one thing. And this is what is amazing. The fact that you're able to see the progress bar for each topic. Looking forward to seeing you on one of my free online Moodle courses on Moodle for Teachers. Please subscribe, and if you have any questions, add them to the comment box. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.